In results 2022, Orange County leaders met this morning to discuss the county's transportation sales tax initiative. Earlier this year, commissioners voted to put the penny sales tax proposal on the November ballot. New 6 is Ezzy Castro joins us live in studio now. And as the commissioners looked at a recent audit and a new dashboard for residents. That's right, Justin. This presentation lasted for an hour, which gave commissioners a better look on how this penny sales uh, tax initiative will benefit residents when it comes to transportation here in in Orange County. Now, this is the meeting earlier this morning. Officials explained just how the county met the requirements move forward with the penny sales tax referendum. And of course, residents still need to vote on the proposal on November 8th, which will fund transportation projects in Orange County for the next 20 years. And so today, county administrators were able to show commissioners the launch of a new transportation interactive dashboard for residents. This will allow them to monitor projects based on their district and home address. It will also include a road and safety dashboard. There was a need for some kind of communications tool so that our citizens have a, had a place where they could find information. And uh, the transportation plan is 1,200 pages long, and there's a lot of information in there. So the goal of the interactive dashboard was to visualize this data. Mayor Jerry Demings, who has been pushing for this proposal since 2019, explained the plan would create a robust mass transport system in the county, including expanding SunRail and adding more buses to Lynx's fleet. Now, as for the new dashboard, officials say the plan is to have it available on Orange County's website by Friday. Bridget. All right, thanks, Azzy.